Hi, I'm Mackenzie Evans here with Lisa Elliott, and we are from the Hershenberg Group. And today we are gonna be talking about the difference between homeowner's insurance and a home warranty. So if you like similar topics like this, please subscribe and like to our channel. So Lisa, one of the biggest questions we get about this topic is, what is the difference between the two? Exactly. Um, homeowner's insurance is insurance that covers the things around your home and in contents in your home. Mother Nature, the right. freeze storms that we've had, um, tornadoes, right. you, you name it, but it covers that. Um, if your dog, somebody, your dog bites somebody, they can get that too. Mm -hmm. So it's different things around your house and the contents. The home warranty mm -hmm. program covers the wear and tear on your appliances. You can right. get them for your pools, um, some of your sewers as well. Perfect. Um, one thing that we get asked too is, yeah. okay, is there a deductible? Right. So typically with homeowner's insurance, there is a deductible. Just like, think of it like a medical insurance. You will cover out of pocket that initial smaller fee, and then your homeowner's insurance should cover the rest. With a home warranty, you do not have a deductible, but you will pay a small service charge for someone to come out and look at those appliances. Good. Um, so another question is, who who provides these coverages? Um, the home warranty program is mm -hmm. provided by home warranty companies. Right. That They specialize in doing that. They get the vendors, they get everyone um, for that. The right. homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. is with the big name companies that you would see, they provide, they right. supply that insurance. Right. You know, you know with that. Um, is it required? to have those items? That's a good question. So if you are financing your home, a homeowner's insurance is gonna be required by a mortgage lender or your big bank giving your mortgage loan. Um, if you are paying cash for your property or you've already paid off your loan, it's not required to have home homeowner's insurance, but we like for our buyers to have it in case there is you know, that natural disaster, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, you do want it. Um, for home warranties, for your appliances, this is not required by any lender or loan company. So that's yeah. a good question. Yeah, that's good. A lot of people like yeah. to do their own fixing. Oh yes, do that. yes, do very like handy. That. Yeah. <laughs> um, another question we get is how long do these coverages typically last? That's a great question. Um, the home warranty programs last a year. Sometimes okay. you can get 14 months depending on who the supplier is. Your homeowner's insurance is the length of your, as long as you're paying your your insurance, you're right. gonna have coverage. But if you have a mortgage, they're gonna want you to have it right. you know, through the length right. of your loan. I know that some lenders, if you don't pay for it, they'll pay for it for you. Yeah, and it'll <laughs> so be So that you have that yeah. coverage, yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, okay, so why is it super important to have these things? Right. So with our homeowner's insurance, you know, you never know what's going to happen, especially depending on your location. Say you live in an area that gets a lot of tornadoes or a lot of hailstorms. You'll want that coverage because a lot of times these, are, you know, you don't have that cash in your account to True. pay out of pocket for that kind of damage. Um, so it's just easier to have that insurance. With a home warranty, you know, we get a lot of buyers buying older homes that may have, you know, 10 years of appliances that, that are aged, but still working. So the sellers don't have to pay for new appliances. And you want that assurance that if an appliance does break in that time period, in that 12 month, 12 month time period, you have that assurance that you'll, you can get it covered, you mm -hmm. know, and you don't have to spend out of pocket money to paying for a new dishwasher. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. That's a really good point. So I think these are, you know, these are good reasons to get the two different types of coverage. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So as far as the coverage, how much do you think each one, you know, about costs for homeowners insurance versus home warranty? You know, that is a great question and everybody asks that because it's mm -hmm. all about the bottom line, oh, right? Yes. Um, your homeowner insurance is going to vary. It's going to yeah. depend on your home, the age of your home, where you're yes. located, your provider, if you're going to bundle your cars or, right. you know, all those items that you, um, that 
they have options for. Right. Um, your home warranty, that's going to vary too. That's going right. to be if you're going to get the main package or if you're going to add on your extra refrigerator in the garage or if mm -hmm. you're going to add on your pool or your right. sewer. So the costs are going to vary. Um, so, right. you know, it's good to talk to and kind of shop each in insurance right. and home warranty program to see which one's best for you and right. fit your budget. Well, especially for those home owners insurance, you want to talk to the companies about different deductibles, different rates that can mm -hmm. vary depending on where you are in your life. You know, if you want to pay a higher deductible to get lower rates, that kind of thing, you mm -hmm. definitely, like you said, want to shop around for your homeowner's in insurance specifically. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, uh, if you need that referral of homeowner's insurance or home warranties, please reach out to our team. We're happy to provide our, you know, partnered, you know, uh, policies. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, if you like these topics and you want more information about similar topics, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.